Hey guys and what's going on? My name is Bram and today I will be showing you guys how to make your first Hello World application with Flutter SDK. Now Flutter SDK is still in alpha by the time that I'm posting this video, but it's already pretty stable. So, you know, don't worry too much about that. Um, also Flutter uses the um, Dart programming language. No worries if you have never programmed in Dart before because it's a pretty straightforward language and it looks a lot like Java or C Sharp. And even if you've had JavaScript experience before, you'll feel right at home. Now, um, the cool thing about Flutter is that you can write your code, um, that you can compile for Android and iOS um, with one code base. And it looks a lot like React Native in the sense that it uses some sort of components, but Flutter calls them widgets. Um, and a lot of small widgets make up larger widgets and larger widgets, a lot of larger widgets can make up a complete app. So that's pretty cool um, because it allows for a lot of code, code reusability. Now, um, I'm assuming that you've already got Flutter SDK installed on your computer. Um, so check out the Flutter installation guide if you have not yet. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process, but if you guys have any problems with installing Flutter, be sure to comment down below and I'll try to help you. Cool. So um, let's create our first Flutter project. So to create a Flutter project, open up your terminal or command prompt and um, cd to the directory you want your app in. Now I'm already in the directory, so I'm just going to type Flutter create. And after Flutter create, you just type the name of the app, um, the name of the project you you want to work on. So let's call this tutorial. Um, and this should only take a few seconds. Um, I'm by the way using Visual, uh, Visual Studio Code to um, write my Flutter code in, but you know, any text editor will do, of course. Cool, so um, our application has been created. Let's now just go to open folder and open our project folder. Cool, um, so basically we're only gonna be working in the library folder and we're actually only gonna be working in the main.dart file. The main.dart for the main.dart file is basically the first file that um, is gonna be run. So um, because we want to really get a grasp of what is going on, we're just gonna start off by deleting all of the code in there because we really want to start from scratch. Cool, so um, let's start by writing our first line of code. Um, first of all, we need to import um, the widgets that we will be using. You can do that by um, typing import package um, flutter and it's gonna be called material.dart. And like I said, this is basically just a library with all of the widgets that we will need to create our first Hello World application. After that, we're gonna type out our main method. And this main method is basically the first method that is gonna be run um, when you're running your app. So, you know, this has to be in main.dart. So if you do not have a void main func um, method in your main.dart file, you're gonna have troubles and your app is not gonna run. After that, you can simply type run app and run app will take a widget. So let's now make our first widget. Um, and our first widget is gonna be a text widget because of course we want to display the hello world text. So type new text and let's give it an argument of hello world. Cool, so um, you're basically done already. Um, you can now run your app by going to your command prompt and cd into your project. Um, it was called tutorial. And after that, just type flutter run. And this can take a moment, so I'm just gonna skip forward to this. Um, and I'll see you guys in a second. Cool, so our app is loaded on our um, simulator. By the way, be sure to open your simulator, um, your iPhone simulator, simulator or Android simulator before running Flutter Run. Um, but you know, our application is now dis displayed on our emulator simulator, um, but it's not quite what we would like because um, the text is displaying 
left on the left top corner of the screen and it's not really visible now um that's basically because we haven't um, put the text in a container or we haven't centered it yet so let's do that right now let's create a new container or actually let's just start off by making a new center widget the center widget takes a child and this child is going to be a widget another widget so um, the widget that we're gonna um, add to the child is basically just our text widget cool so once that is done you can rerun your app um, you can basically do that you can refresh your app by typing lowercase r and restart your app by typing um, uppercase r now lowercase r is not always working in this alpha version for me so you know try it out if it doesn't work try uppercase r cool so um, we got our text in the middle of the screen right now which is pretty awesome now it's still looking a little bit dark it's not looking cool or bright so let's add some um, background color to do that we basically need a container so let's make a new container widget and the new container widget basically um, has a property called child and the child is going to be a widget so you guys see the pattern over here you basically just um, nest this new center with a new text widget in the new container let's try to indent this cool so let's rerun our app right now and this should be the exact same cool so the cool thing about a container is that we can now add some decoration to it so um, container has a property called decoration which takes another widget um, and we're gonna pass in a box decoration now box decoration um, has a property called color and that's basically deciding which background color your container has so let's say colors dot um, and flutter has a lot of pre-built or pre-chosen colors for you to use so let's use something like blue and be sure to add your comma at the end of your decoration property let's now rerun our app whoops nothing happened let's take a look did we do something wrong we did decoration new bugs decoration channel new center hmm let's try again cool so um like you you know like you saw um the app didn't refresh by pressing lowercase r so you know just try to press uppercase r and that should fix the issue so that was basically your first application in um, Flutter SDK. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. Uh, but, you know, I hope you guys got a little bit no more knowledge about how Flutter works and how the widgets work and all that stuff. So um, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below. Also, if you have requests on more advanced, topic with, advanced topics with Flutter, um, also put them down in the comments below. Also, something really cool, Flutter, um, Google, uh, Google's I.O. 2017 is um, airing right now. And the Flutter, um, the guys from Flutter are going to be live streaming on um, Google's I.O. So be sure to check them out if you're watching it on um, the 19th of May. So cool. Um, yeah, that was basically the video for today. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.